Bones. Woo! And some exciting news you'll hear first here today. Would you like to introduce your new character for Castle Bones? I will, I will. You'll be, you'll be seeing more of her uh, tomorrow. But um, if you stop by our booth to get any of the cards, yet any of our trading cards, I am the witch. Did you ever think you'd be a trading card when you started at Castle? I never thought I'd be a trading card. I was like, my kids, I go, they're making trading cards. I'm going to be on a trading card. <laughs> Very cool. So I think, Joseph, you'll mention that if you come into Castle Dark, a certain number of people each night will get a trading card. Yes, and uh, the first 200 in training each night will get a randomized system of trading cards. Oh. Got to collect them all. <laughs> Show up early like you did today. Yeah. <laughs> all right, next, Andrea, uh, Director of Marketing at Castle Park. You're new to the staff. Been here just a short amount of time, so welcome. I know you're very nervous. <laughs> yeah. And you get a little scared. We tried to get her to go through Hall of Shadows last night through some of the mazes. And it's going to be a fun season, but we're going to get her through there. <laughs> yeah, I've been at the park for just about two months now, so I'm fresh meat. Uh, <laughs> and I actually come from weddings and events and catering, so this is a little bit different. Um, although weddings can be a horror show. So <laughs> director there and getting to see like Patty said everything behind the scenes has been really cool um, my mom is a costumer so seeing everything that the costume team creates is just so amazing and yeah um, you probably won't see me <laughs> so, I'll be honest <laughs> but I am excited to introduce everything to you guys today well, welcome. Thank you. And we're going to get you through one of these today before the end of the day. <laughs> All right, next up we have Colton, and you are the youngest maze designer probably in Southern California or even the country. Uh, it's kind of a funny story how you got started at Castle Dark. Uh, you started last year, and something happened, and your family didn't even know this story, but you almost got arrested your first night or oh, <laughs> security, whatever. So I come from uh, Cal State San Bernardino. One day I was kind of in class, I was kind of looking for a job, and I'm like, I always dreamed of being a stair actor, and I saw Castle Park was hiring. So I applied for Castle Dark, they got audition, and then they actually put me on streets my first night. I put in pre-show, I had the most fun night of my entire life stair acting, uh, going through everything, and then I find out a month later, when I actually joined the production team, that I almost got arrested. Not arrested, but... <laughs> um, so I'm always running around the park, so my assistant at the time was hiring people. He didn't tell me he had added people to the streets, and I get this call from security, and the scare actor is like, there's this ugly clown running around the stage. <laughs> <laughs> so we were ready to get him. We thought he had snuck in, jumped a fence or something, and then as soon as we were about to approach him, my assistant stopped me and was like, no! It's Colton. I was like, who's Colton? And, uh, yeah, that's how he, he got on the streets. And after that, so that hot scene, about two months later, I joined the protection team and even a creative designer. And Joseph, you have a long history in the theme park arena and uh, Halloween. So do you want to tell everybody where you started, what you've done? Yeah, um, I actually started in 1994. Oh, wow. Uh, <laughs> and you right at the bottom in the hallway down yeah, the that, that's me. Uh, this is our family haunt. Uh, we started in 1994 in Monterey Park. It was just known as the Haunted House. My mom's birthday is right around Halloween and my uncle. Uh, I was the scaredy cat of the family. I didn't like these things and they took me to Knott's one year and I was traumatized and I fell in love with it at the same time. Uh, but my family, we're all here and they're all here in the audience. Love you guys all. You're all here. Uh, but uh, our family is big on Halloween and to this day, we still play pranks and scare each other. So we did this from up to about high school. And uh, our, as, as we grew up, our cousins, our, you know, all the kids started joining in. And it became a, a tradition, a family tradition for us. And then I told my uncle, no, I want to do this for a living. And I ended up working for Disney for about 10 years and uh, Not Scary Farm. And then I made my way to Universal for 10 years. And uh, ever since then, just been working on haunts and stuff. I even tried right after COVID. I was like, well, COVID, what am I going to do? And I uh, ended up getting pulled into a, a mini golf event and creating that as well. Yeah. And then one day, I happened to be never been to Castle Park in my life. And uh, someone told me, who's here in the audience, my good buddy Casey back there, told me, you should email this guy named Ken and tell him you're looking for a job in the haunt. I did. Thank you, Ken, for hiring me. So <laughs> here we are. So 
Uh, and now this is my third year with Castle Dark. We started a rebranding of it and trying to up the event each year. We're going with our storylines and introducing new mazes, which you're going to hear about in just a bit. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. I forgot to mention that this is the 16th Castle Dark. Right? This is the 16th Castle Dark. Woo! Also, we have to mention that the park will be turning 50 in 2026, right? So a lot of, wow. a lot of fun stuff going on. The 50th anniversary is just around the corner for us. Lots of big plans. You'll be hearing about that soon. Well, you all came for announcements, so we want to get started with that. Andrea is going to give us a little information on the merchandise and some of the food. There's some really, really good sounding food coming to the event. And the food at Castle Park is very good, by the way. Yeah, we all know how many tacos we ate last time we were there. So. We eat there every day. Um, but yeah, so we have some brand new merch for Castle Park wow. Stream 16 that we are very excited about. Um, as you can see, we have all of our favorite creatures featured on the merch this year. And this is just a sneak peek, there's way more. Um, but this is my personal favorite. All of the characters were hand-drawn and I'm terrified, but I also want to wear it. Um, and so, because we have brand new merch coming in this year, we are actually selling merch at our booth this year, right there in the lobby, um, for some pretty good prices, if I do say so myself. So definitely head over there and check it out. And we, for the first time ever, are going to be having a special merch store, which we'll hear about in just a bit. Ooh. And then the food this year looks real good. So we do have a tasting card this year, which you can purchase oh, at any nice. food locations within the park, where you can try all of the delicious treats we have for you. And this year at Castle Dark, we have alcohol. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Um, so you can try some witch's brew or zombie sangria. I personally, although I can't have it with the alcohol, the mango lemonade voodoo looks really good. <laughs> and of course some sweet options, some savory options. The funnel cake, guys, it's like a cup of dirt on funnel cake. Come on. So definitely, and we're going to be having some other items that are not listed on the tasting card that you can try, um, which one of the really fun ones is going to be a margarita. Ooh. I hear it pretty good. So <laughs> the food is going to be delicious this year. So definitely something you don't want to miss out on. All right. Uh, now you want to hear about mazes, right? Yeah. 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 Uh, Colton is going to tell us about the first maze. Yeah, we have a lot in store for, for mazes this year. We have three different mazes this year. I've created the design layouts for them. So anytime you walk a maze, and so if you have a hallway, all that, I've designed the layouts on that. So our first maze right here. Yeah. We have Funhouse of the Demented. We have Funhouse of the Demented. A power outage has caused the correctional facility to shut down and the clowns have now escaped running carnage around. <clears throat> if you guys don't, I just want to say that, if you probably don't know this, but that's the ugly clown we almost, that's old. <laughs> 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 so you've had some clown mazes in the past at Castle Dark. What will make this one a little different? So with this clown maze, we are reintroducing special effects in mazes. So when you guys walk around, you nice. might feel some stuff, you might hear some stuff, just to surprise you. Nice. And each member of the team has been tasked with a different maze. I know you're working on this one, but as you mentioned briefly, you actually designed all the layouts for the mazes. So all the actual layouts, you did yourself, right? Yes. So if you take a wrong turn, you think that if you go down a hallway, you see a creepy long hallway, you can thank me for that one. <laughs> <laughs> Our second phase, Joseph, you're going to tell us about All right, we're going to talk about this awesome experience called Seance coming to the park. Um, I don't know if you can see a certain witch's hand in that image right there. <laughs> Seance is going to be our second largest maze in the park now. And uh, yes, you are going to participate in an actual seance with the Ouija board. Oh, no. Yeah, I know nope. you're saying that. No, nope. great. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't want to be, you can stand back. But um, you are going to participate in a seance to call upon the witch, and then you're going to face a pitch black maze with a candle, and that's all you're going to have oh, wow. to go through. It is that's quite cool. an experience, guys. It's going to be fun. Uh, seance is also going to feature something very special at the end, because it does take place in a museum. Uh, and at the end of the museums, you always run into something. What's that going to be, Andrea? Give merch. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So there will be special merch that will only be sold in the seance store. So oh. you do have to conquer the Witch of the Forest <laughs> to get the merch. That's so okay. it's kind of like a seance sale. You'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay. If you're afraid of the dark, this is definitely the maze you're going to want to go through. We tried it last year with our uh, 
our night shift maze, and this is going to take it to the next level. So we're excited to throw you back in the dark. Castle Dark, you've got to be in the dark. Yeah. <laughs> and we're telling you a lot about what's coming, but there's going to be a surprise there, too, that we don't want to give away. We don't want to give away yet, but you'll find out when you're there. Aww. All right, and the next maze, Labyrinth. We're going to talk about Labyrinth. Labyrinth is our Ooh. largest maze in the park. It's in the back side of the castle, and it is a full-on Labyrinth hedge maze. And let me just tell wow. you guys, I've looked at the designs, and I'm like, oh, man. Colton, why don't you tell us about it? <laughs> so for a labyrinth, it's not going to be like a normal maze where you have just one walkthrough. For a labyrinth, you can have multiple different ways you can walk through, so your experience will never be the same once you walk through it again. Even when I was designing it, I had, was confusing myself with designing it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, lab labyrinth is definitely going to be something on a whole new level. We have gone to parks, you know, and we always do maze. It's a maze, but you're not really in a maze. This time, you're going to be in a maze, and I guarantee you will get lost. Oh, um, our awesome scenic designer, Jesse, is designing it to be the same. So every turn you make is going to look exactly the same. So uh, good luck getting out. <laughs> and it's our largest maze ever. Wow. And my first question was, will you be able to get through it really quickly and not experience the whole thing? And <laughs> Colton said, absolutely not. You're going to be in there for a while. Yeah. It's going to be fun times ahead. <laughs> now we have another surprise. We do. So this year, we are taking things into the future a little bit mm. with a VR maze. Oh. So the Sinister Inn will be at Castle Dark this year. You can get a little preview if you head over to booth 1000. They are here today. And I can say it's terrifying. Um, I didn't go through it. Um, but I watched Colton do it. <laughs> it looked a little scared, which means it was probably really scary. <laughs> I actually got to the, the front door of the inn and cried. So <laughs> it's really good. <laughs> um, but yeah, it will be an additional fee to go through Sinister Inn, but it's worth it. It is truly a 5D immersive experience. It, you're in the inn. I, I highly recommend as Midsummer guests, you get to see it a sneak peek before the park. So you can really see one of our event experiences before. It's in the back of Hall of Shadows. So you see that at more vendors this way. Head back there, guys. You're going to want to do it. It's quite an experience. I've never been so near. I don't like spiders. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like spiders. Yeah, so you'll be able to experience the Sinister Inn in its full effect at Castle Dark over um, to the left of our big top this year. All right, we still have some more announcements, but we want to say we'll do a quick QA at the end, and then afterwards we have some tickets to give away. So you definitely Ooh. want to stay until the very end. We'll do some trivia. Yeah. All right. Uh, that's about it. We've got shows, right? We do have shows. Uh, let's get into the first one. Tea time with Lady Lou. Lady Lou is. Oh, she's here. Would you. Uh, do we need this? Can she, she give us the latest gossip? Howdy, Miss Summer Stream. How are you? Hi, Lady Lou. Thank you so much for coming out. I'm so excited to be able to entertain and talk about the latest gossip going through the kingdom. I'll see you all there. Thank you, Lady Lou. Do you want to expand on the show? Yeah, uh, Lady Lou's tea time is going to be uh, in the midway of the park. She's just going to be hanging out, and uh, she's going to be talking some gossip. There's a lot of gossip going on in the kingdom, and she's got it all for you. So if you want to hear the latest and have some good laughs, you're going to want to come by and stop by and say hi. Lady Lou spills the tea. We love you. <laughs> then, all right. All right, go ahead. All right, and our next show is going to be in the big top. It is Countess of Laura. Um, recently became the queen of Castle Dark. Oh, she's coming to our website. There you go. Come on up. And uh, she's going to give, give us the mic. Hello, everyone. Hi. Any vampires in the audience? Woo! Well, that's going to change once you come to my show. Me and my van pets would love to sing our things into you this season. Thank you. And um, you can actually get a sneak peek of the show. They're going to be on the show floor stage today at 1.45 and 5 o'clock, and tomorrow at 3 and 5 o'clock. So you can get a little sneak peek of the show. And new and, this year also. We've got and yeah, there. brand new and, ret and returning is going to be our Sliders of the Kingdom show. Woo! Last year. I believe Lloyd Amicus is here. Do you want yeah. to you're come up? Okay. Lord Amethyst is the uh, former king of Castle Dark, and he is in charge of all of our sliders. Oh, hello. Oh, excuse me, sorry. Sliders of the kingdom. 
that's what the show will be. With that, there's trouble amongst two particular zones. There's clowns and there's knights. Who will triumph in this show between the two? That's right, you heard it here folks. The clown sliders will be taking on the knights of Darkland, so it's the first time we're going to have two zones battling it out in a slider show. Very exciting. I have one more I got ahead of myself. Brand new this year, Castle Dark After Dark. This is where the fun's going to happen, yeah. folks. Castle Dark After Dark is going to be a brand new experience. It's a big top after Countess Delora is done with her shows. Uh, once you're done with the mazes, you're going to come into Big Top, going to grab some drinks, some food, and you're going to attend a Halloween party. We're going to have dancing, Whoa. we're going to have vampire dancers. Nice. Yeah, come, come hang out until closing. And for those 21 and over? <laughs> uh, well, 21 and over to drink, but it is all ages yeah, to enter. Yes. All right. Any closing no, you comments before we take questions from the audience? All right. Uh, I think Diego's back there. Can you put the lights back on for just a moment? Diego and Jonas are both back there. There we go. Does anybody have any questions? Oh. Hey. <laughs> questions? Yes. Uh, so, for someone who's never been to Castle Dark before, uh, and you know, for someone that's you know been before, uh, what would you recommend they do first? So I am definitely going to say if you. The minute you're in the park, go straight to Labyrinth. Yeah. Labyrinth's going to be the longest one. You're going to want to go to Labyrinth right away, and then um, head to Seance right after. That's going to be my first suggestion. Other questions? Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, for Labyrinth, uh, you said that there's like different like, areas you can go. Are you going to run into like other guests who are also lost in the Labyrinth? So there's going to be like a time cross system with it. Um, it is very possible to run into other guests. You might just scare each other running into other guests. <laughs> Um, but yes, um, there is one way in and one way out, and we'll give you an image of once you enter the maze of what it looks like to get out. But yeah, we'll see how long it takes to get out. Anyone else? Yes? Going through the witch maze, do you get a candle? Do you have to play with the Ouija board? The mom told us never to do that. Mom will be very angry with me. Thank you, bro, for bringing that up. <laughs> You do not have to play with the Ouija board. It is part of the experience, but you don't have to. You can stand back. Every guest will be given a candle. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to say it. No, no, do it. No, 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 do it. Do it. Let's just hope your candle stays on through the oh. It's very possible you may run out of your candle. You are waking up the spirits. They like to play. <laughs> Anyone else? No, you didn't have a question? Okay. You know when you sit in the front row, you get called on. <laughs> All right. No other questions? Should we do trivia? Yes. All right. If you want to win tickets, you got the answer. So we have three four packs, correct? Yes, three four packs of tickets to give away. So if you know the answer, do you want to just have them yell it out? Or raise sure. their hands. Oh, raise your hands. Raise your hands. Oh, come on. All right. Here. You're watching. You're watching. <laughs> All right. During the day when you visit Castle Park, they have a mascot. What is the name of the mascot? I just want to, you can give the tickets to someone else. I just want to answer. What's the answer? It's no good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, right over here. Okay. In the, yeah, the right there. Duke? Yeah. 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 Castle Park open. Up in the back, I saw your hand go. Yes. Yay. Congratulations. Let's see in the 
Can I just say to the first question, because I'm there early in the morning with doing production stuff, I would have gotten that wrong because I would have said Kevin. But <laughs> 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 yeah. YouTube comes out later because I'm there so early. Oh, here we go again. Oh, no. No. We're just going to ignore it. Yeah. yeah, if you guys don't know, we have a pet peacock. His name is Kevin. Uh, he doesn't like the little cake. And he will pose for you if you take a picture. He'll yeah. the world. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, pictures. All right, so we've got one more set, right? Yeah. Uh, let's see. I have another question. What are the names of the bases this year? Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, I saw your hand back there. Uh, Seans, Navra, and... Uh, You're so close. <laughs> It's about clowns. Yeah, it's a clown. Oh, so it is, so it is uh, the, uh, the spider, uh, spider clown film. Did you, did you remember? Yes. Okay. One house, 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 one Log ride? You don't realize how tall log rides are. 
Ladies and gentlemen, please remain calm and stand. Oh, okay, thank you. Uh, <laughs> this presentation was so engaging, nobody even got up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I think that that. We're at the end of it, because we all want to run to the Six Lights panel, I'm sure you all too. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you guys so much for coming. Randy, thank you for hosting. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you guys for coming out. Have a great time. And thank you again, Jonas and Diego, in the back. Thank you.